hello guys and welcome back to getting started with lab view right now i have already started my lab view uh, application and you can see that the screen for lab view here appears so what we're going to do right now is we're going to start jumping into the code um, so that way it will be much easier to visualize what's going on so to do that we need to write a we need to create a file that can actually use to represent a user interface and also to write our code and that file is what we call a virtual instrument or we simply just call it VI so to do that we need to create a new VI and you can see here there is this new VI option here we can either press this or we could just press Control N so when we press this what appears here is that we have two different uh, windows uh, one is the front panel as you can see here and another one is the block diagram so in the front panel is where we place every user interface uh, which the user can actually interact and change values and in the block diagram is where we write our code so to give you an idea what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the front panel and what appears here is a palette that contains every possible uh, data or data types of values that we can use for the user to interact so we have the numeric uh, palette we have the boolean palette we have the string palette we have the data containers list table graphs and so on so I'm gonna make a really simple example where we use a numeric uh, palette if we click into the numeric palette you can see there is these two different types of uh, UI one is the control and another one is the indicator the control is where the user defines the value and the indicator just simply displays the value that's what we need to understand uh, when it comes to uh, putting these UIs into front panel so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take click on the numeric control and place it anywhere on the front panel and I'm gonna click the numeric indicator and also place it on the front panel now what happens here is that whenever I place any UI I get this two icons that represents the the um, controls and the indicator that is placed on the front panel so you can see here that this is a control and to check where you can find this uh, control or indicator whenever you place you just need to double click on the block diagram and it will appear on the front panel so it's much easy to find when you have a lot of controls placed on your front panel and to make a simple connection what you need to do is you need to click left click on the black arrow on the right hand side of the control and just simply make a connection it will form a wire um, and you just need to left click again on the left hand side of the indicator and you can see that a wire is formed so it is actually really quite interesting to see that how the data is actually being flowed from the numeric control to the indicator so you can even change the label of the control here so I can just put here as control and if I change the label in the block diagram you can see in the front panel also change as well so let's change this to indicator so now I'm gonna increase the value this is what we meant by the control where a user can uh, manipulate the values inputted into the control so if I increase this to 6 and if I press run up here on the top left of the front panel that run button also appears on the block diagram it doesn't matter which one you press and when you press run you can see that the indicator displays a value of 6 now to see how this value is actually being transferred we have an option here called the highlight execution and when we click highlight execution what it does is it slows down the execution time uh, in the in the code and it will show that how the value is being passed from the control to the indicator although it's going to be a really slightly quick one but it will be easy for you to catch it so let me change this value to 7 and if I press run you can see that the value of 7 is actually being float in through the indicator so let's try another one more where we have the boolean indicator boolean is just simply uh, 1 or 0 true or false um, it's pretty much the same concept where we have in other programming language so if I place a boolean indicator here and if I press um, let's say a round LED to be an indicator so we have the control here again you can see the arrow on the left and right hand side and the indicator on the left hand side so the connection is still going to be the same and if 
if I press run of course nothing happens because the boolean button is not pressed but uh, if I press uh, click to switch on the boolean what's going to happen here is that the light here is going to lit up which it shows that it is a uh, true or one and as you can see that there are actually different colors representing the data type most of the time uh, numeric values is represented by double uh, data type is always orange in color and boolean is always green in color and uh, of course you cannot connect uh, different data types in the same wires because if you do that then you will get a broken arrow and to see that if you can see that what happens here is that the wire connects more than one data source that's one of the reason why you're having this arrow if you just need to hover over to the X here then you can see that what's going on so this is actually pretty a uh, very simple uh, introduction on uh, controls and indicators in the front panel and block diagram in LabVIEW